All right, welcome back. YouTube video, training pool today. We are obviously with James again, one week out from the Olympia for him. So we're gonna go for a nice little pool session. Very, very excited. Yeah, um, I, I said to Connor today, I led the way last time. You surprised me today, so this is all on Connor today. <laughs> all on me. But I'm, 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 open, I'm open to suggestions. Okay. Do you ever do bent over like dumbbell row, dual arm rather than? I don't, but I don't mind doing them. Yeah? I'm up, I'm up for anything. As okay. long as I stimulate this fucking back. Cool. Put some blood in there. Sweet. Then we're good. Do you want to do, okay, so we'll go, what? Some sort of pull over, a pull down, d bent over dumbbell row, either T-bar or like the prime, Prime row, yeah. a narrow grip row, like cable row. Yeah, like a low pulling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you do rear delts on this day as well? Yes. Cool. And then we can end with rear delts. Yeah, we end with rear delts. Sounds good. That's cool. like that's, that's, that's kind of work out I do anyway. You'll notice it's got a couple of pull downs in there, three row movements, a bit of rear fly. Sometimes, like I say, every other training session I might throw in one set of lower back extension. But cool. that's kind of I go by how I feel on that one. Yeah, yeah. Let's get into it. You keep my momentum out of the equation, it's uh, spot on. Come from like a nice dead stop when you're like there, just rather than. I find as well, like when you've got your hands, if they want to do that, I try and turn them in a little bit. Oh, yeah. yeah, you actually get a little bit more. Because of the rotation, so your back's purpose is to tilt, bring down, but also externally rotate a little bit. So if you externally rotate slightly with the hand and drive down, then that's really, really, yeah. Do you want to do three on here to warm up? Or are you... uh, I'm good. You do another one because you're in off season. I'm happy to float. I'll do two. My volumes are slightly lower just because of being close to a show, but he's in a really good spot to hit a little bit more volume. Calories are going in. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it won't take much more, will it? Not with that kind of like strict form. But we, what we can do, I think, if you want to, we'll do the strict form for as many as you can. And then, go. And then just do a few ballistic ones, just, just like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, let's go. Five. <clears throat> Good. Four. <clears throat> yeah. Come on. Three. <clears throat> Good. Two and one. Yep. <clears throat> go again. Yeah. <clears throat> Nine, and again, one more. Cool. One, good. Two, good. Three, good. Four, one more. Five, good. Woo. Get some sort of lower back loading without directly hitting the lower back, but you get a great connection on your lats being able Very to row. Well. Yeah, and you can get a nice bit of momentum with it as well, which is good. Because the bar path is not the same as the regular bar. Yeah, and being able to pull with a neutral grip as well, it's always nice. Do like one, one warm up or like one yeah, feeler.
Let's go, take it there. One, good. Two, three, good. Four, four change. Yes. Six, seven, good. Eight, let's go. Nine, perfect. Up, good. Get it. Get it. Yes. Beautiful. When you push the food up, your lower back pumps were like horrible. Nothing as well. Yeah. Like, Walking. I've only just started to like get it under control. Horrible. I used to do removals for a job, yeah? Yeah. So, plus that. Always, that. yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> oh. 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 Hey. Guys. Perfect. This is, this is humbling. This is very, very hard. This is a test of your, I won't say manhood, because there's a lot of strong, strong women in here as well. This is your test of your minerals. Put in vert, like you're literally pulling against gravity. With no, with no support. Legs no, are just no floating. Movement. It's a hard movement. We're going to do this more so to target kind of the upper back fibers. So you want the elbows flared rather than yeah. tucked, or like a little bit flared rather than tucked. It's kind of like, I suppose you call it a high row. Yeah. So we're pulling, but we're kind of doing opposite to a bench press. Yeah. It's good for like thickening up a lot of that T-section of the upper back. Yeah. You know, rear delts, traps, kind of the mid-rhomboids. Filling those gaps that someone, well, a lot of us, I still feel like I have a little, I'm a bit shallow there. You'll never be thick enough, can you? No, so never, man. Lovely. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good. Good. Again. Let's make it work today. Come on. Yeah, and again. Good. And again. More there. Good. Couple more, Lee. Squeeze hard, bro. Squeeze hard. Good. And again. And again. And again. And again. Go for one more partial. One more partial. Yeah, good. Excellent. Sir. Lovely, sir. Good set, big lad. I'll do two, I think. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. It's getting super thick now. Side chest, not even, side chest where they don't even look at your chest. They look at the, your back. They're like, what the fuck's that sticking out the back of that side chest? Let's go. Olympia. Grip it and rip it, come on. Seven days. Good, one, two, good. Yes! Power! Four. Good! Come on! Keep it moving! Let's go! Seven days to prove it! Let's go! Good! Let's work! Come on! Yep! Let's go, James! Throw it! Good! Come on! Everything! Yes! Grind it! Lovely! Woo! Make it look easy, man. Gym shot pull down, bit of lat focused. It's a great pull down. One of two variations that you'll see us do. We either do the cable single arm or the gym shot pull down. The gym shot's quite good because it gets a little bit lighter at the bottom, so it's easy to get a short contraction. So I'll do a couple of sets on there to target the lats. Eyes on you. Can't leave anything to chance, let's go. Perfect. That's you. Good. 
Nice lower lat. Yes, beautiful. Go again. That's it now. fucking seconds. Any less, you start again. Yeah? 45 seconds, nah. 60 seconds, nah. 80 seconds, nah. 90. 90 fucking seconds. The longer the better. The longer you hold, the bigger you'll be when you get off. Keep holding, big lad. It's only just beginning. The party's just started. Makes my hips go numb and all sorts. Oh, fuck. Fucking went numb. Oh. Oh, don't know how long that was. It's probably about 80 seconds. Oh. I know. Fucked it, lads. 10 seconds shy. No. Big Dino house. I'm right, you? He always wants to kiss me. He always looks on my lips when he sees me. Josh. You doing fluff? A bit of fluff, sir. What fluff today? A bit of leg first. A bit of leg fluff? A bit of leg first. <laughs> bit of what, though? A bit of press? Pump? Press, hamstring, cut. Bit, bit of pumpy rep. Pumpy. Pumpy, pumpy rep. Get a pump. Mm -hmm. Love it. Captain Dean. So we've uh, finished our back workout. You'll notice we're doing some rear delts now. Why do rear delts on a day with back? Simply because you fatigued all the back muscles. So when it gets to a point of targeting your rear delts, you're not gonna get a lot of cheat or effort or help from the back muscles because they're already fucked. It's a really good time to pinpoint and target the rear delts after fatigue has occurred in the corresponding muscle groups. It's always wise to do that. It's like if you want to hit anterior delt and smash the shit out of it, train your chest the same day, your chest will fatigue. Once your chest is totally fatigued, anterior delt's going to be the last thing left. It's going to have to work. So you basically give your rear delts no option but to work. Because his lats and back now is pretty buggered. So the only way he's going to be able to draw his elbow up and back is rear delt. So again, choosing when you do what exercises is just as important as the intensity you apply. He can come in and be super intense on exercise, but if it could be better served somewhere else in his training week, it's always better to optimize the position of that particular movement over just intensity alone. So bear that in mind, guys. I, again, I think Connor's gonna hit biceps today, which is smart as well, because it means that his back's pretty fatigued. He's not gonna be able to use assisting muscle groups to leverage his biceps. I do the same. I, I, I train my biceps after legs because it means my biceps haven't been um, hit directly with anything beforehand. So basically, you just gotta be smarter when you put exercise in. If you're someone that when you train back does feel like your biceps get a lot of work, then it might not be sensible doing biceps after. But Connor obviously doesn't feel that way, so he feels good enough to go in and do some biceps now. And that's the thing, train is very individual. It's not the same for everybody. Although there is some similarities in how we train, you can already identify one difference in where we like to train biceps. Do what's right for you guys. Three sets here, keep it fairly like high volume. I think we do three sets of like 12 to 15, or maybe 15 to 20, to see how we're feeling, just fill it with blood. It's one of those small muscle groups, it's not one that you really, really need to push like heavy weight with, or move heavy weight with. And like Jane said, I'll go do biceps after this, and then he'll do abs, and then maybe we'll get a look what he's looking like one week out from the fucking Olympia. You can't take that. Right guys, 
You may notice we're dressed in different clothing because we've gone in the future and we're not the same Connor and James of yesteryear. But we just wanted to do a little wrap up of our previous video. We did a pool session, which was fantastic. Honestly, just watch it. Let us know what you like. Let us know what you don't like. Comment below. Follow Connor. Um, what are your, your social links? Connor Launder underscore on Instagram and then just Connor Launder on YouTube. Give him a follow. Keep an eye on him. Looking forward to seeing the progress that comes from him. And uh, we'll be back for more videos. So like I say, guys, hope you enjoy. Thanks again to uh, Big Mr. Spooner over there. Thanks again to Connor for letting me train. Uh, thanks to King's Gym. Check out all the links below, all the sponsors. If you want to save some money and some stuff, check it out. And uh, once again, subscribe, leave a like, and thank you very much for supporting the channel from myself and from me. <laughs> we'll catch you on uh, another video very, very soon. Take care, guys.